First of all, guys, congratulations on the film. It's Thank so you. good. I really enjoyed it. Oh, um, it debuted at Sundance. How did that feel watching it with a big audience? Uh, incredible. That was, that was that my was first time. That was the first time I saw the movie, out. and it was just there was such a buzz. It was very yeah. surreal, really. Um, Sting was sitting next to me, which was really cool, and yeah. and it was just a great vibe at the at the film. There was there was it was booked out, and there were what thirteen hundred people in the yeah. cinema. So it was and just, there's nothing quite like hearing the audience laugh at the bits yeah, they're supposed to laugh at go silent yeah. when they're supposed to. So it was yeah, incredible. Yeah, no, it was great, and there was this there was a standing ovation at the end, which was just it was just meant so much to yeah. us, and, and getting up in, in front of them was just it was something else. The story obviously is timeless, but being set in the 80s gives it a real edge. What sort of homework did you do, or did John give you any homework for, for looking at videos? Or We yeah. had a pretty good music education from yes. John. That was the main yeah. focus. Yeah. Music education, yeah, lots of, lots of music videos for me anyway. Mm -hmm. I was looking at loads of them, especially because we're the characters are making music videos in the film and are, you know, are working off these music videos that they're watching in real life on, on um, Top of the Pops and on, on TV and stuff. And, I mean, I was just watching loads of the Duran Duran kind of, you know, all these all these crazy music videos from the '80s. Some some of it was horrendous stuff, but it was it was great. Now it was a huge learning curve for me, um, especially with all the styles and the, mm. and the makeup, and it was it was great. I learned and given that it's a quite personal project for John, and he went to Sing Street in the '80s, did you feel kind of a pressure in yourself to portray Connor because it's kind of like a part of John? Yeah, well, uh, not really, not on set. Um, I was never quite aware of it being a kind of semi-biographical. It was never really spoken about like yeah, that. Yeah, it was never talked about like that until this post. press started, really, yeah. yeah. And uh, so, I mean, I was kind of aware of it, but it, it was never something that I was thinking about when I was, you know, on set. It was never something that I was aware of. It was just kind mm. of, I was just having, we are just having fun, really. For me, I was just having a good crack with, with all the lads and with Lucy and stuff. It was just... And Lucy, if I can ask you, Rafina is a very complex girl. She's kind of very cool on the exterior, but she's very vulnerable underneath. Was it fun to play her or a challenge, or how did you...? It was definitely a challenge. I mean, trying to maintain the balance between the lighter and darker sides of her. But, I mean, such an unbelievably lucky opportunity to be able to portray a character like that, such a rich character. So being able to go, especially with her, from the polar opposites of like those really, really dark moments, and then her lightest, brightest side, where you would never guess any of that from her. So no, it was a challenge, but very rewarding one. And can I ask you both, what was your favorite scene to shoot? Uh, I think the music videos were the most. The music videos yeah. were the, f were, yeah, were definitely the funnest. Yeah, were the, the, the costumes the, the prom were much more scene, heightened. The 50s prom. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, that was so much fun. We had a great time in that. And then there's the riddle of the model, obviously, which was just really really just felt really stupid on set which was really fun you know yeah. as these kids make this music video so we're all going around with john and your own we're going around with these ha handheld cameras which is just so much fun and we're just having great. a great laugh like yeah and what was your least favorite there's a lot of scenes on water in that water. looked a little bit yeah, yeah. a little wet yes that was yeah. cold that was that was bad for you but i was, I was having a grand at the time yeah um, it was fun for me yeah. and ferdy you joked at sundance that the film is basically your life anyway that, yeah. You know, and how you, you get on with your older brothers yeah. and the music. How have you taken that from, since you finished filming, you know, how has it inspired you as you kind of go forward now into... Um, well, it wasn't exactly like my life. I mean, it was kind of similar story. There's so many connections, it gets really weird, actually, because my, my dad went to Sing Street and my, my granddad and all my uncles went to Sing Street, and then there's loads of references in the film that have so much to do with my real life. Like, there's a thing I say to Lucy in the middle of the film. This is just an example, I say, oh, my granddad works on the ships to Hollyhead. My granddad actually did work on the ships to Hollyhead. It's really weird. All this stuff just keeps coming up. And, but, I mean, there's, there, there was kind of, there was more to Connor than just kind of me just be, I suppose the, what I really want to get across in the film was that change from Connor to the kind of, from this insecure kind of kid who doesn't know himself to this, to this guy who kind of, it becomes this confident young man who kind of conquers his world and just becomes, you know, finds finds his voice. And um, but that's kind of what I take away from it. I mean, I learned so much from it, and and um, yeah, I just I just had a great time doing playing that playing that character. He was, he was and as as I said, it was quite easy for me because a lot of it was really similar. There's the music aspect, and there's the older brother thing, and there's a big there's a big connection for me, a big mm. personal connection. So it was really nice. It made it really special. And what's next for you both? I've um, got a couple of films coming out this year, um, one called February, and I've just wrapped another film called Let Me Go, which is exciting. Nice and more of this, more Sing Street. More Sing Street, yeah. yeah.
pretty busy with Sing Street yeah. until uh, I don't know when the US rela releases, but it might be until like May or and something. And you guys are so. still doing the band, aren't so we're still doing the band. So that's really fun as well. So we're that's we're having a great time with the band, and that's cool. and uh, we're just we're just having a good time with with Sing Street at the moment for me anyway. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do after this, Michael. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm, I mean, I'm just I'm taking a year off school. I have so many options. Very good. Well, good luck with it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> Thank you.